The graphic novel began because Relativity Media and Archaea both recognized that it was an immense world and it was a visual gorgeous world. And so just having two hours to play around in that world, it, it, it just, it, it wasn't enough. We are actually doing something different, something that actually they usually don't do in licensed publishing, where we are doing a complementative narrative to the film. That they're both standalone pieces, but if you read the graphic novel and then see the film, it all ties together into one cohesive whole. Hi, my name is Dennis Calero. It's Ben McCool. Uh, Raphael Kiannon. Hi, my name is Jock. Trevor Hersine. It's Kevin Colden. I'm David Gallagher. It's Patrick Schubert. I'm Scott Hampton. Uh, I'm writing and drawing a short story illustrated. The author of the Immortals Gods and Heroes graphic novel. I'd always been very interested as a child in Greek mythology and the, the idea of, of heroes uh, and the heroic ideal. And the presentation of the gods in this particular incarnation was really interesting to me. Um, so it was an opportunity uh, for me to present my take on something that was sort of up my alley uh, and yet I could, I believe I could lend a unique vision uh, to that. So the book is a great opportunity to do that. Well, over the, what struck me about the, the Mortals movie footage that I saw was that it was uh, very fresh, very dynamic. Um, there's a lot of energy, very violent and brutal. I try to, to bring that, that sensibility to what I did so, so that it kind of ties in with, with the Immortals movie, but at the same time it can exist um, uh, by itself as well. The fact that it's not a direct movie adaptation, it's not a prequel, it's nothing like that, you know, most comic book adaptations are. It's very much its own unique beast. It does its own thing, it dares to be different, and that just sounded wonderful. The fact that I get to use these awesome characters that are both, you know, based very much in history and also in this new movie, but still be able to be as creative as I possibly want with them, that just seemed wonderful to me, so I just couldn't wait to get stuck in. It's really sort of a fresh take on, on the, the old myths and, and, and legends, and uh, it really, uh, really has a lot of uh, really distinct visual sense, uh, and it adds a real distinct mood to the uh, entire uh, story. Just the, the mythology itself is, is very bloody and gory and um, you know from a storytelling point of view it's really interesting stuff. Taking a, a very violent uh, imagery, throwing dirt and blood on, on, uh, on a comic book and, uh, and not having really any, uh, any restrictions. So you get the chance to like dream as much as you can and, and uh, you know, hold nothing back. The content for me is pretty graphic. I'm not used to doing this stuff. It's kind of fun, but I have to keep my, uh, my five-year-old daughter, Molly, um, out of the office while I'm doing it. <laughs> you know, the, the film world is so rooted in the actual, you know, real mythology, but puts such a cool new spin on it that I think you have a lot more room for drama, a lot more room for action, a lot more room for, you know, really digging something up. And for me it was, I'm going to go do some homework on why did Zeus you know, what was his relationship to humanity? What was this and that? From that was able to sort of craft a story with the, you know, with Joe, with Nate, to sort of say, you know, th this character. Well, why does he do that? Why does it, oh, you know, we learned a little bit more about him here. Readers, what will they take away from my story? Uh, hopefully it should be good bloody fun of it.